because he's in us. Yeah. He's with us all the time. Yeah. Right. So we have an expectation yes. that his manifested Ooh. presence goes with us everywhere yeah. we go. Amen. Expectation of, of glory. That means your life doesn't have to look like everybody else's and you don't have to expect it to look like everybody else's. That's it. Um, this mystery of Christ embedded, wow. embedded oh, in that. you. It's, it's like, like engrafted. Oh, it's yeah. in there. Rooted. It was that man was created with that with that likeness. When he, he created man out of the dust of the ground, that's natural. But when he breathed into him, Christ became in him. The power of God came in him. The anointing of God came to him. The glory of God came into him. The favor of God came into him. The dominion of God came into him. And so when he created man, he gave him that dominion. Well, welcome to Winning Conversations and another edition of First Fridays. And it's so good to have the Deans. How you guys doing? Good. Well, welcome, everybody. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, well, we're excited about today. And uh, we just want to impart the word uh, again because I believe the word is what takes us higher. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the last couple months. Didn't you guys enjoy the last couple yes. months? Yes. yes. I so mean, uh, we've gotten so many, uh, so much uh, feedback, great mm-hmm. feedback in that, that it was ministered to them right where they were. And if you remember, if you haven't watched them, I'm going to go back and encourage you to watch all the winning podcasts every week because there's always great things that you hear about our congregation and testimonies and people's mm-hmm. lives. Yes. And so, okay. so check those out. Um, but just remember, we talked about hearing and doing. Right. And isn't that amazing thing? Because it's in that hearing and doing the word that brings about the miraculous yeah, in right. our lives. And that's, and that's what what God's called us to do. And and so in, in these next two months, we're going to be also unlocking some other things. Are you guys excited about this? Yeah, I'm excited. Because I, I don't know if there's any more people that are excited about the word more than uh, <laughs> uh, uh, us two couples. I mean, I mean, the word is, um, I mean, it's 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 All been right. life-changing to us. Yeah. It is. And, and so, uh, so let's get into this. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's do it. Well, we're going to talk out of our key scriptures. Uh, our key scripture that we're going to key on is going to be Colossians in Colossians chapter 1. And we'll start in verse uh, 25. And it says this. He goes, Paul speaking, he goes, Of which I became a minister according to the stewardship from God, which is the given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Verse 26 says the mystery. So this is what he Paul was called to do, right? Right. He goes, he was called to, to reveal this, the mystery which had been hidden from ages and from generations. So this is something that's hidden from generations. It's something that's been been a mystery. It's something that's been hidden. So if it's hidden, then it's something that that um that you can't see. It's something that you you don't you don't know this. Right. And and Paul's saying this has been hidden from really the foundation of the world. Right. And yet he says, I have the opportunity to unlock this for you. And who else better than Paul? Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, because yeah. I mean, think about it. He lived his whole life the way he lived it. I mean, he was li- going Christ he was, was going one mystery. direction yeah. all his life. I mean, he had a passion for God. He desired God. Yeah, but he, I mean, there's wrong. passion for the word. Right. He he he, he had, had a passion for donkey. the word. <laughs> but he just had a wrong understanding. Exactly. He had a wrong understanding. I, 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 he didn't we can, know we can, the word. We can get it, get on to Paul about you know things that he did, but I believe that he was the one to unlock these truths because he had a hunger for the word. Right. Yeah. Sure. And and so he he wants us to us to know something. He goes, but now has been revealed to his saints, to them God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. So okay. he, he's about to tell us what this mystery is, right. which is Christ in you, the That's hope it. of glory. It's everything. Amen. It's everything. Christ everything. in you, the hope of glory. That's it. What do you think uh, about that, yeah. Pastor Eric? Well, uh, you know, in the message it says that. The mystery in a nutshell is just this, that Christ is in you. So therefore, you can look forward to sharing in God's glory. Wow. Right. Wow. That's, That's amazing. To share in his glory. <laughs> That's it. Man, that, that, all of a sudden that puts us like in a new class. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> well, we, you know, Dr. Spell teaches about the glory of God, that um, it's God's manifested presence. Yeah. It's his manifested power. Right. Mm. It's his manifested goodness, right. which yes. includes favor. Mm-hmm. And just this past uh, week, he talked about how that his manifested goodness also includes prosperity. Yeah, wow. it is. For sure. Everything <laughs> that we need Oof. is in Christ. And uh, yeah. the Passion Translation in, if you go back to verse 19, it says, For God is satisfied 
to have all his fullness. Now think about that. Mm. All his fullness. All his fullness. <laughs> the creator of the universe. All his fullness. Yeah. Who created created the world. Yeah. Created the whole universe. Yeah. And he's satisfied to have all his fullness dwelling in Christ. Wow. So then when we look at when it says Christ is in us, yes. then we're talking about all the fullness of God dwelling within us. And so some notes on that says this includes all the fullness of God, yeah. the fullness of his plan for our lives, wow. and the full image of God being restored in our hearts. That's a mouthful right there. Wow. Yeah. And so we were talking earlier before you were saying how you were reading in Genesis about how we were created in his image and his, in his likeness, the original intent. Yeah. I mean, that was that man was created with that, with that likeness. When he, he created man out of the dust of the ground, that's natural. But when he breathed into him, when he breathed into the, uh, the nostrils of Adam and he became a speaking spirit, mm -hmm. Christ became in him. The power of God came in him. The anointing of God yeah. came to him. The glory of God yeah. came into him. The favor of God came into him. The dominion of God came into him. And so when he created man, he gave him that dominion and a power, that dominion and a, that dominion and authority and, and placed him and placed him dominion over all his works. And he gave him the ability to accomplish it. And that was his presence on the inside of him. That was the Christ that was in him. That's he good. even had a uh, creative force through his words yeah, yeah. That's it. and God brought all the animals. If you right. remember to, to see, see what, what he, he would call them. Right. That's amazing. Yeah. And, but that was the original intent was God being in man. Right. And I mean, I'm, in all his fullness in all his all fullness. His fullness. And, and we live so short of that. Oh yeah. my goodness. That's why I think it says restored that the full image of God being restored into our hearts. That's it. You know, restored. and if you think about it, Paul said, you know, that verse in Ephesians about, that the light, I think in the Passion it says, I pray that the light of God will illuminate the eyes of your imagination, flooding you with light until you experience the full revelation full. of the hope of his calling, yeah. restoring you to that. Yeah. We need yeah. a greater understanding of that. Take Truth. our imagination to that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So in the church world, you know, <laughs> we've been talking about <clears throat> who we are in Christ. Mm -hmm. I think that's so important when somebody, especially when they first get born again, yeah. you know, to, to, to transform their thinking, you know, right. by becoming conformed to the word. Yeah. And so you, you learn who you are in Christ, but until you understand who Christ is in you, right. Then your, your faith will be limited. So, um, and, and we were talking about yeah. this, you know, uh, prior to, <laughs> as we were having a conversation before the conversation, but, um, you know, when I was growing up, I grew up in a Pentecostal church. And so I learned that uh, whether it was taught or whether it was something that I, that I perceived, that if I sinned and Jesus came back, that I wasn't going to heaven. Yeah. You know, I wasn't going to make the rapture. Right. My mom, <laughs> she, could, she didn't play basketball because their uh, shorts were above the knee. <laughs> and so, so she was, if she was in a movie theater and Jesus returned, she wasn't going in the rapture mm -hmm. or danced. So, so that was my knowledge <laughs> yeah. of God. Like I thought every time I sin that God turned his back on me. Mm. And so I was like, he's always mad at me, you know, and I'm just trying to, yeah. and whether that was what was being taught to me or not, that's what that I, was that was my reality. Yeah. So I would always pray, you know, Lord. Uh, please bless this food in Jesus' name, amen. And please forgive me of my sins and even the ones I don't know about in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about... Even the ones I don't know about. <laughs> I repented. I got saved 100, 175 times, you know, because if I sinned, I thought, well, I wasn't <clears throat> saved anymore. Right. Well, that was improper knowledge. That's it. That was wrong knowledge of who God is yeah. and who... He is what in he, you. Who he, who he is in me and what Jesus did... Right. So that we could be made, you know, remade in the image of God. Yeah. I mean, so I believe that's why, you know, Second Corinthians 4 says the God of this world blinds our minds, yeah. blinds our eyes. So we I'm can't see truth. the light of the glorious gospel that's yeah. in Jesus Christ. Right. And so how does he blind our eyes? Through lack of knowledge, through other people's experience, other people's information, tradition, um, our own experiences. It's almost like that, okay, I'm saved, and I'm trying to obtain this Christ-likeness. Yeah. 
Mm. It's like I'm saved and I'm trying to obtain. So, I, so I'm still in the natural trying to obtain this perfection instead of living out of the perfection that's in me. That's instead of like, I've already attained <laughs> Christ likeness when I made him the Lord of my life. Now, I know you were you were looking at that scripture, Colossians, right. in one in, in the Passion. Can, what does it say in the Passion? It says, living within you is the Christ who floods you with the expectation of glory. This mystery of Christ embedded within us becomes a heavenly treasure chest of hope filled with the riches of glory for his people. And God wants everyone to know it. <laughs> wants them to know. I love it. I love that floods you with expectation what was it again? Flood you, Flood with, you with the expectation of glory. Of glory. Think about, you know, mm. I, that's why I think the word is so important. Yeah. If you don't go back to who Jesus was when he walked yeah. and talked on this earth, exactly. then you also don't realize what he's like Correct. in your own life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone Jesus came in contact with got better. That's it. It's the expectation of glory when you come in contact with him. It's not shame. It's not you're not good enough. It's not, you know, you should have known better. Yeah. It's he's going to make you better every time you come in contact with but him. But it comes down to your your pursuit of knowing him. Yes. And I love what, you know, Paul says. He says, my determined purpose is to know you. And you know what? God wants to be made known. And the way he was made known is through Christ. Right. Yeah. It's through Christ. Yes, the visible representation. Right. That's it. He said, if you've seen me, if you've seen me, you've seen the, the Father. Father. That's it. That's it. And his disciples yeah. still didn't get it. Philip was like, show us the Father. <laughs> so, and I, that, I, and I, Philip, you've seen and, me, and, you've seen the Father. That's it. You know, that's it. You know, think about it this way. It's like, I know this is kind of a silly illustration, but if I got hit by a truck, I would be, there would be a transformation. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's kind of kind of silly, but if I got hit by a, a truck, it'd be a transformation. So, so when you encounter the love of God, there should be a transformation. Yes. So when you in, truly encounter Christ, yeah. there'll be a transformation. So most of the time, people encounter religion, or people kind of want to add Christianity a part of the rest rest of the lives. Correct. But when you understand, it's not about it's not about. I, according to Second Corinthians about being in Christ, that that I'm in Christ, that I no longer live according to the flesh. Yeah, it's getting right. rid of all the old stuff and but, getting the new stuff. But it's I'm not, a new creation because yeah, right. yeah. I am made new. So it's not adding that new truth to your old truths. You know, it's you know the the new wine skin, the old wines, yeah. trying to put them together. It's not going to work. You've yeah. got to be renewed in your thinking, and the only way you're going to be renewed is through the Word. Right. Yeah. Right. Through the Word. Revelation yeah, have, of the word. And we Jesus have faith is in the word. Jesus is the word. It's yes. a simple believing that. Yeah. I think that's the challenge for humanity because we're performance driven, you know, as humans. We are. And so we think we do have to earn this. So if, if I do something wrong, mm -hmm. then my human nature says I need to crawl over some glass for, you know, a hundred yards to make up for the wrong I did. Right. Yeah. Which but, is like what Pastor Justin always says is like you know, the carnal mind is enmity against God. It will actually work against yeah. what God wants yeah. to do for you by you constantly trying to establish your own righteousness or something apart from what Jesus yeah. did for you. It's like going to actually make you at odds with what God wants to do in your life. It makes it so hard. You know, and it's there's true. there's times where you could even be praying and your natural mind is will even, even say, God doesn't hear you. God doesn't hear you. Right. Or you're declaring things that, you know, that are rightfully mine as a covenant believer. And, 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 you know, I'm blessed coming in, I'm blessed going out, but yet your mind could say that maybe not for you because of, because of this or because of that. And so then we get stuck with these blinders on and not living kind of like if we knew this aspect of it right. and we live from this position. Yeah. It's that truth that will set you free. It's that truth. It's that, tr it's yes. that truth. This is, that's why Paul calls it a mystery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's been hidden for ages, yeah. hidden for ages. But now I'm revealing it to you that God's intent all along, all along, after since the fall of man, was get us back to a place where God is on the inside of us. Hallelujah. That we're God inside minded. But like you said, most of the time, it's like we're flesh inside minded. We're mistake. We're mistake inside minded. We're, you know, and, and we're all we're all guilty. And when I talked about sin consciousness, you know, back you know back in, it, it's just that reality of of trying to either please people, trying to conform, trying to be accepted, trying to
do all these things instead of realizing that I'm accepted in the beloved. I'm right. accepted. Hallelujah. He's adopted me. Yes. He called me into his family. It's n- it's no so one else. Incredible. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks of me yeah. is that I am inside. I have, I have Christ in me. Yes. Yeah. So I, therefore we can expect, as you read in the passion, a, uh, he floods you with the expectation yeah. of glory. Expectation. His, his, we have an ex, we can have an expectation Amen. that his manifested presence will be in our life every day yeah. because he's in us. Yeah. yeah. He's with us all the time. Yeah. Right. So we have an expectation yes. that his manifested Ooh. presence goes with us everywhere, everywhere we go, that he's for us. And if he's for us, who could be against yeah. us? We have an expectation that his power yeah. is present in our life. Right. There's no name that's above the name of Jesus. That, that's right. And we also hear uh, in this church believe the Holy Spirit, you know, so yeah. when we are filled with the Holy yeah. Spirit, we get power. Yes, power. so power. we can operate in power. We have that expectation. We have an expectation that we will see His goodness every day, yeah. every, every day. day. His every favor, day. His goodness surrounds us as with yeah. a shield. We we can have an expectation. Every expectation day. of, all those of things. glory. That means your life doesn't have to look like everybody else's, and you don't have to expect it to look like everybody else's. That's it. Yeah, you know your expectation should be different. Yeah, you know even when things come that come to everyone else and they get bad results, you don't have to expect those results. I think one of the greatest things about God, <laughs> sorry, is that, you know, this expectation of glory is like, for example, a biggie is like when you, when Jesus died, well, expectation is you stay dead, but not with our God, no. No. Not, our with what, is not with what's working our in him, is different. you know, yeah. right. that's the expectation of glory yeah. is no matter what this world does to me, come on, God can do something yeah. amazing. That's glory. That's glory. That's glory. So it's not about what this world does I to us. It's that. about what God does with it after the fact. Yeah, that's so good. It says in Isaiah in the if end. If we have hope and faith in that. His glory will be seen on us. That's good. We have yes. an expectation mm. yes. that as, as light gets brighter and darkness gets darker, yeah. the light always expels the darkness, yeah. and we're going to burn brighter and brighter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I wrote down, hope isn't a wishful thought, because when, you know, right. we hear that, the world's connotation of the word hope is just, I'm wishing. I wish. Yeah. No, but it is a confident, expectant, joyful knowledge that we are being changed, that yes. God is in us. Yes. That word embedded within us in the Passion Translation stood out to me. Um, this mystery of Christ embedded, wow. embedded oh, I love that. in you. It's, it's like, like engrafted. Oh, it's yeah. in there. Rooted. That's yeah. it. Alive. Yeah. yeah, alive. Yeah, wow. that's good. And that becomes the hope. I always think of hope too as that eager anticipation. Like it's not like a wish, like you said, but it's like you're, you know it's coming. It's coming. It's eager anticipation that it's, it's coming. coming. Out on the edge of your seat. Yeah, yeah, right. And I believe that every Christian can experience this manifested presence of Him. And yeah. that's His glory. Because yeah. again, yeah. people, the world doesn't understand that word glory. Either there's a different worldly connotation to that word, you know. Yeah. But it, yeah, it, right. it in what does it mean for us? God's glory. Yeah. And you can have a real experience with God. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's yeah. it's just like to answer even what Annette was saying. Just for anyone that's watching, it's just His glory is His goodness. That's good. You know, they His glory is the Bible actually how it really translates is the weightiness. Mm. Yeah. The weightiness of His goodness of his presence, his, presence. his power, and his love. Mm-hmm. Come on. So that, that's who God is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, so he wants to be to you. you so the <laughs> glory of God is is just like what radiates from him. Mm. On the inside of us. Yeah. And it's on the inside of us. And and who, he he doesn't have love. He is love. Right. He is love. He, he is mercy. goodness. Mm-hmm. God right. is good. Yeah. I mean, it's not that, it, yes, he has goodness, but he is good. So our expectation changes. Yeah. When right. we know this, yes. we expect favor. Yes. We expect yeah. promotion. Yeah. We expect. Yeah. Yeah, he and is. when I know you're a believer, I yeah. can expect that for you. Amen. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, I am confident in you because I'm confident in the Christ in you. That's yeah. it. The Christ for you. Oh, yeah. that's you know, good. It's for, yeah. yeah, either way you look at it. Wow. I love that. Wow, that's so good. Who has yeah. been faithful from the beginning? Yeah. And every time we make room for that to happen in our lives, then, and it does, then it gives glory back to God. 
You know what I mean? Like he's glorified, like his name is glorified. When we trust in his name, when we trust in the Christ in us, then he ends up getting glory That's good. because the glory manifests. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. So going, going back to who, who is Jesus from the beginning, Proverbs says that I have been established, this is Proverbs 8, I have been established from everlasting. <laughs> from the beginning, before there was ever an earth. Right. Yeah. Right. That's who's living in us. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled. Yeah. Before the hills, I was brought Preach forth. Are, I mean, are you That's feeling my Jesus. Yeah. That's who, that? He's on the inside of us. Yeah. While as yet he had not made the earth or the fields or the primal dust of the world, when he prepared the heavens, I was there. I was there. Mm. Uh, <laughs> when he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he established yeah. the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, yeah. when he assigned to the sea its limit. <laughs> so people think that they can control the... Listen, God has set limits of what the earth is to be. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. He, Jesus was there the whole, so that the waters would not transgress his com- command when he marked out the foundation. Then I was beside him as a master craftsman. Wow. Yeah. Beside him. And I was I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. Wow. That's the Christ in us. <laughs> wow. Wow. Christ in me. Christ in me. Yeah. That Christ in me. Christ is in me. And the only way we limit him is through our understanding, our mm-hmm. lack of understanding, or or not knowing the word and the truth of who he That's is. Right. You know, and it's like yeah, we, we it's need to way. we need our understanding. We need uh, we need to expand our understanding of this, yeah. because, like you said, the mind, the flesh, is always at enmity against God. Yeah, and and so we're always we're always gonna be tempted to go back to think that we're less than, right. but realizing what is on the inside of yeah. us. That you were you were reading something this morning. I thought it was out of Colossians. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess Colossians two. Um, I think it was. I think you you were saying this, but it was Colossians two. Um, let me put my. Put was my, it two one? For I want you to know how great is my solitude for you. How severe and an inward struggle I am engaged in for you. Yeah, and he go he goes through all this, but then mm-hmm. he he gets over to verse um, he verse eight, and he says this: Beware lest anyone cheat um, you through philosophy or yeah. empty deceit, right. mm-hmm. according to the traditions of yeah. men, traditions. according to the basic That's principles it. of the world. Right. Yeah. So, so he, he Paul is giving a warning. He goes, yeah. and this is this is just chapter two after he said, "Christ in you, the hope of glory," and so he, he so he says, "There's things that are going to try to." cheat you out of this right. captivate like how you. soon have you turned yeah. yeah from the hope of glory that christ in you to right. empty deceit traditions whatever philosophy, philosophy. What, what is our world is yeah. is is always trying to figure things out and thinking mm-hmm. that yep. if they could just gain more knowledge if we could gain more understanding <laughs> of where we came from we could yeah. gain more understanding of the brain or more yeah. understanding yeah i'm not against education i'm not against um you know, pro- a progression in, in healing and um, cures and things that they do. Right. But, but the thing is, is we can't, we, we can't think apart from, we have to think different than the world thinks. Right. right. Because he says here that there's things that are going to try to steal through philosophy, empty deceit, mm-hmm. the traditions of men according to the basic principles of the world and not according to Christ. Right. Yeah. My my Bible says it, it's called idle fancies and plain nonsense. <laughs> That's it's just nonsense. plain. It's just <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> it's nonsense. Plain it's nonsense. nonsense. You know, and the wisdom of this world is foolishness with it's God. Foolish. Yeah, but man yes. think they're so smart it, <laughs> in their own human nonsense. nature. <laughs> and it robs us. It totally it robs, robs us. us. Yeah. It does. Basic principles yeah. of this world. It's not even deep knowledge. No. Right. And it says so he warns and, us against that. And not according to Christ, because then it says for in Him. In him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Yeah. And if we stop there, we're like, oh, yeah, man. God, Christ, Jesus had everything on the inside of him. And Jesus was full. He had the anointing without <laughs> measure and all these different things. Read but the then we forget verse. that says, and you, <laughs> and you are complete in him. Amen. Wow. Yep. Complete. Complete. 
What are you gonna say? I wrote down in my notes, First Corinthians one says, enriched in everything by him, <clears throat> in all utterance, all yeah. knowledge, you come short in no gift, because Christ Christ is in you. Mm. You come short in no gift. That's mm -mm. amazing. No. No gift. It takes equipped. faith. And if we limit our knowledge to the basic principles of this world, we are so far below what we can achieve. Yeah. And we'll be blinded. Yeah. And we'll sit there and, and, and wonder. Blindsided. We'll blame. Yeah. We'll have shame. We'll have guilt. We'll be controlled by fear. That's right. All these different things. And all the while, you have the Godhead. <laughs> all the while. Yeah. You have all that God is on the inside yeah, of you. From the beginning. <laughs> yeah. From the beginning. From the beginning. Before there ever was. Right. He was. Right. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, what is there that he does not know? Wow. You know, right. you go back to Job and Psalms and mm -hmm. it's, wow. you know, who can tell him anything? Who can counsel him anything? And that guy is in you. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> that guy. I love it. That, that guy. guy. That's my God. That's I mean, my God. I think Numbers says it's like the heavens of the heavens can't contain him. Right. And yet he's in you. He's in me. Now, if you look at this from a natural philosophy, well, that doesn't make sense. I, that's no. That's why. That's why you have to understand and fully understand the fact that we are made in His image. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And He's getting us back to that. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You know, before we're before we leave this earth, right? Well, we'll have been. Can I say the spitting image oh, of God? The glorious church. The glorious church. No, what is, I think John it. says. It says that we, it says we we will be like him and no we'll see him when he comes back mm -hmm. right we'll, and and we'll see him as he is for we will be like, like him. him. That's good. That's awesome. Wow. Today, right <laughs> now. Today? So so going back to we can have this expectation now because he's in us mm. that we can live like God lives. That's good. Right. We can have that expectation so we can go back to say. Show me your glory. Mm -hmm. I thought of that. Yeah. And it's something that we can experience every day. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we need to understand. We can experience this every day. Every day. Every day. Yeah. When we go out to work, to school, to the grocery store, mm -hmm. we can experience his glory. And we could not only will God show us his glory, we can show the glory yes. of God to others. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Amen. I want to close with a scripture. We just got a couple minutes left in Ephesians 1. And we won't necessarily expound a lot on this, but I want to read this because this deals with, you know, being in Christ. <clears throat> and I believe that's the message to the church. These were the messages to the church, whether it was the church of Galatians, the church of Ephesus, uh, the church of Colossae, the church of Philippi, the church of Thessalonians. <clears throat> All through it, Paul is trying to deposit this understanding of really who the church is to be. The Church right. of Heritage of Faith. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the Church of God in as a whole. Yes. You know, Amen. Um, and it says this, in verse three. It says, "Blessed be the God and Father of the of our Lord Jesus Christ." Now, get this: who has? Yeah. Meaning, we're not. This is not heaven one day. Who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ? So every heavenly, every heavenly blessing, every blessing that's in heaven, mm -hmm. he has blessed us with it. Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, <laughs> that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. I'm without blame. Right. Having predestined us to the adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself. Let's get this. According to the good pleasure of his will. Man, it's the good pleasure of his will Thank you. to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he made us accepted wow. in the beloved. And then verse seven, Thank in you. him, mm -hmm. in Christ, we have redemption through his blood. Amen. The forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace, which he made to abound toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known to us the mystery of his will, according to the good pleasure of his will, which he purposed in himself. That in the dispensation of the fullness of time, he might to gather in one all things in Christ, right. both of which are in heaven and which are in, in, in earth, in him, in him. 
Wow. And we could keep reading. I mean, right. I mean, it goes on and on. I mean, if you look at at least, the, I mean, for, for sure, the first three chapters of Ephesus, it paints this picture that Christ is in us. Yeah. And we have been blessed right. with every spiritual blessing. Amen. 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 Is there anything else That's you want to say? That's good news. I mean, it is good news. That's good news. It's good news. So good. That's good news. Pastor Nat, I'll put you on the spot. Why don't you pray mm-hmm. for, um, you know, our, our listeners or those that are watching? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. I thank you for a greater hunger, a greater determined purpose in each and every one of us and all those watching to know you, to know you and to know the fullness (laughs) of you in us, Lord God. I thank you, Father. I thank you that we are not satisfied. We will never be satisfied. We want more of you, more of you, more of you, more of an understanding of who you are in us. Yes. Oh, Father, I praise you, and I thank you for your word, so rich. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are going to continue to bring this truth yes. to our remembrance when we feel like we're falling short, where we're going back into our into our flesh or our past, Lord, that your Holy Spirit is quick to remind us that we are in you, that we are in you and you are in us. The hope of glory, yes. the hope yes. of glory, that we have a yes. greater expectation. We have a better yes. outcome. Come because yes, you are on the inside of us. Mm. Oh, I praise you today, Father, and I thank you for this word. Amen. 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 Well, what another great conversation. Yes. So love doing this with you guys. We love our church family and so grateful for each one of you. And we speak health over you. We speak yes. life over you. We declare that, that his presence is showing up in your life big time. And, uh, and so anyway, until next time, we love you. Oh, God bless and go give him Jesus. Jesus.